Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking. In this series, we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs as they demonstrate how to prepare some of their favorite dishes. And now, here is today's host. Welcome to Creative Cooking. Today we have something warm and sweet to share with you and we have a special guest to show you what it is. With me in the kitchen is Chef Curtis Ralston. Hi Chef, welcome to Creative Cooking. Thank you very much. Now you are a master chef at the JDF. How long have you been at the JDF and what do you really do there? Well, I've been with the JDF for the past 23 years. and mm -hmm. My pet peeve is pastry. I'm really a pastry chef, but because of the promotions that I gain, I am now a master chef. So my job is to ensure that the soldiers are well fed and care. Wow, but in the meantime, when you have some spare time, you still go on and do your pastry items? Yes, I still go on and do my pastry items. It is a really a managerial position, but I still might get my hands in the doors. From time to time? From time to time. Yeah. Good to have you. So what are you baking for us today? Today I'll be baking warm pineapple turnovers. Hello, I'm here today to walk you through the steps of making warm pineapple turnovers. We are at the moment ready now to make our, our filling and in a heavy bottom saucepan we put our pineapple along with our sugar. Then we had some grace pineapple juice. Some lemon rind. Along with some lime juice. Then we had some grace hello margarine, soft margarine. And we just gradually mix in. Then we had some nutmeg and cinnamon, a little grace pineapple flavoring and for a very good look we put in some yellow coloring. It is left here to cook, it want to have something that can be dropped onto the turnovers when we are ready. When it is cooked for about five minutes or so, we would add some cornstarch, mix all the little cornstarch in, some water. We pour in our cornstarch, and then the amount of cornstarch that we use, this will bring it to the consistency that we need it. And for you to see exactly what has happened, we have, had gone, we have gone ahead and prepared filling for the show here today. So this is what the final filling would look like. Not runny, very nice consistency. This is our short crust dough and a short crust pastry. It is made up of just fat flour and water, you can put a little lime juice in it if you want. Ensure that there is flour on the, rolling, on the cutting board, we roll out. We are gonna roll to about a quarter inch thick. We are gonna use a pastry cutter. This one is a round one because what we want to have we want to have a pastry looking like the shape of a patty or a triangle. So we cut out. But if you want, as I'm here, you want to get a little bigger, you can roll it out some more for this purpose. All right. And what we do now, then we had our filling right in the center. use the egg wash. You can use egg wash and you can use water. 
to seal, to put around the edges so when the sealing process comes, it seals properly. Right, and we just take our fingers and ensure that it is sealed. What we do now, we get a fork and we crimp the edges. Looking like a patty. Because the same short crust pastry dough, you can use the same short crust and put them onto a grease baking tray. What will happen now, before we send, get them into the oven, we prick the top. Why we prick the top? We make holes in it so when it starts rising, the steam that is built up in it does not burst the seals that we have put there. The steam goes right through those holes at the top and for a nice sheen now, the same egg wash. Brush it nicely with the egg wash. And your oven is a 350 and it bakes for 20 minutes. Hi Chef, I can see that you are indeed a master chef. Yes. Um, and the soldiers must be very happy. Right. And, and you know, when it's, it's meal time, I guess it's their happiest time, eh? Right. <laughs> because it's, it is said that the army marches on the belly. I see. Because if you don't have any food, you cannot stand up in the bar. That's right. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the finished product. Well, with the finished product, you see, uh, when it is totally baked and we mm -hmm. take it from the oven, then we sprinkle it with granulated sugar. Oh, okay. Sprinkling it with granulated sugar, it gives it this nice appearance. And a nice crunch. Rice and ni ni nice crunch. Mm -hmm. This looks and really it, it, tasty. It is, it is a delicacy. Of course it yes, is. Yes, it is. And you can use them for cocktail parties, birthday parties. Anytime you want something warm and sweet, right. what more would you desire? Warm this is a turnovers and or drink, what a treat. Chef, thank you for this wonderful treat. And guess what? We're going to ask you to come again. Thank you. It was a pleasure being here. Welcome back. Today we have a food and kitchen safety tip from Grace. our show. Remember to call, mail or email Grace Kitchens for this and other exciting recipes for you and your family to enjoy. Thanks for watching. See you next time. This is Chef Season on Creative Cooking and we hope you enjoyed today's show. Join us every Monday morning at 735 as we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs demonstrating some of their favorite dishes here on Smile Jamaica, it's morning time. Chef Season continues next Monday morning on Creative Cooking, 7.35 on TVJ, and with a repeat at 2.50 p.m. every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss it. <laughs>